What's going on everybody? Uh, Sean Smith here and I wanted to put together a quick video just to give some knowledge around Amazon PPC. So uh, what I'm going to cover right now on my screen, it's going to, it's some of the, so me and Taylor, uh, my business partner, we created a training program for PPC and AMS and this is like a portion of it that we created that I wanted to show you guys. So um, this is called Bid Data. Well, that's the name of this presentation, but basically here's what I did. I pulled data from a bunch of accounts that I manage and I here are some of the stats. So we looked at over in terms of data pulled is 167 products across tons of different categories, um, over hundred thousand dollar, hundred thousand orders. 226 million impressions, 1.2 million clicks. So, you know, we got a good data set, right? Something that, you know, can help us look into what's going on. And the AOV or price range was from $9 to $396. Big range in price point. And what we did, what I did was I separated these products into two buckets. Bucket number one is kind of your average price product, $9 to $46. Bucket number two, $51 to $396 or what I call like more higher price products. So the weighted average order value for the average price products is 21 bucks. The weighted average order value was $119. And the weighted, so it's really interesting, the weighted cost per click average was 77 cents for the average price products. While the high price products, the weighted cost per click average was 36 cents. So what does that kind of tell me here? It tells me that these lower price products, these markets have are more competitive. So like what I'm saying here is so if the weighted cost per click for products um, that are nine to $46 is 77 cents, okay? And the weighted cost per click average for the high products, which is $51 to $396, that tells me, you know how in Amazon people can drive up the cost per click. This kind of gives me some insight into lo lower price products are more competitive because you have a higher CPC, right? Which we know, a lot of people know this, but I'm a huge data person. I really like to see information. And I always think that even if I, even if I know something, getting more information to support that decision is extremely crucial. So even if I get something that confirms something I already know, I still treat it as a very strong data point. So that's something to keep in mind, right? So average price products might be more, are more competitive. They have higher cost per click. Um, also, what's really interesting here is the weighted, the, the weighted, so if you see here, we have the weighted CVR, the weighted conversion rate average based on clicks for the average price products was 14%, 14% PPC conversion rate for products, nine to $46. The weighted conversion rate average based on clicks was 1.44%. So, um, it was a way lower conversion rate for the higher price products. Cause we, you know, a lot of these products are like, uh, I will say a lot of more like a hundred bucks or more and stuff like that. So this kind of just confirms that higher price products have a lower conversion rate, which makes sense. And here's, what's really, really interesting is the weighted ACOS average was 25% for average price products for this data set. And for the high price products, it was 21%. So what's really kind of interesting on the conclusion side is that um, the ACOS is like kind of similar here. So that tells me that like, and what's the reason for that? Because our conversion rate's gonna be way higher. Our PPC conversion rate's gonna be way higher for these average price products. While our PPC conversion rate's gonna be way lower for these higher price products. And so we're going to need to buy a more clicks for these higher price products. And so even though they're cheaper, we have to buy a lot more of them. So it's really interesting to see how the A cost is very, very similar, even though our cost per click for the high price products was like 30 cents. And then it was 70 cents for the average price product. So 
It's really interesting to see here. And in terms of conclusions, I mean, it just gives you kind of some insight into some bigger data sets. Like, you know, the average conversion rate here is 14%. So that's a good benchmark to have for a potential product, right? You know, like, hey, I want to have, if my product's between $9 and $46, I might want to have a 14% conversion rate. That could be a good benchmark. You know what I mean? And it ranged, the conversion rate ranged from like 3 to 7, 37%. And then for the higher price products, you know, um, these are pretty high price products. You can see it goes up to $396 and that's why the conversion rate's so low. I would say if these were like 51 to $75, I know that the conversion rate would probably be higher. All right, guys. Um, I hope you got some value from this. I, I mean, the point, really the value here or the one thing to take away is, you know, these, these numbers that I've given you are good to see, just to see, get some benchmarks and see how PPC behavior, because this is all PPC data that I've aggregated from um, accounts I've worked with. All right, everyone, I hope you got a ton of knowledge and value from this. And um, if you need anything from me, you just let me know. Thanks.